often talk about the inaccuracy of uh, breathalyzers, field sobriety tests, uh, positive blood and urine tests, and at times corruption of police and you know, destroying evidence or photocopying from one case to another or hiding evidence. Um, are you saying that the, the system, the DUI system is corrupt in any way? or what? No, I think corrupt is the wrong term. Um, I think uh, inefficient would be a, a good characterization. I think unfair and unjust uh, commonly, and I think certainly violations of constitutional rights are routinely uh, existing in these kinds of cases. These cases rely uh, heavily on, uh, first of all, breath machines and blood analysis. These are relatively unreliable, particularly the breath analysis, unreliable and inaccurate methods. A lot of the evidence is, reliable, is dependent very heavily upon the credibility and the honesty of the officer. What is under the influence? Well, it's what the officer says. It's the field sobriety test he administers and his decision of whether you pass or not. Oh, okay. uh, it's what you, uh, he says that you told him about how much you've been drinking. Okay. It's his assessment of what your driving looked like. In other words, they're his opinions, his observations, and, and with a lot of police officers, and I'm not certainly saying all, um, there are good police officers and bad, but right. among those officers, it's human nature to fudge a little bit here and there to strengthen your case, and it's uniquely easy to do. There are no witnesses, there's no uh, type of evidence you often see in most cases. So it lends itself to uh, uh, inaccuracies in the machines and the blood analysis, and uh, some, let's just say, uh, subjective uh, approaches <laughs> by the police officer. Okay. Bearing in mind that we're talking about a competent police officer, and there are an awful lot of them out there who aren't very competent at doing field sobriety tests and so on. And so it sounds like what you're saying is a lot of the prosecution's case rests on you know a human being, this police officer, and they have their faults. Absolutely. Uh, bearing in mind, again, most officers are honest. Uh, most officers are generally competent. Although when we get into things like horizontal gaze nystagmus tests, which is one of the three standard field sobriety tests, right. I've never seen a police officer able, and I have cross-examined many of them, hundreds of them, I've never seen uh, who really understood or were able to competently uh, administer the test. Right. Um, studies have been done uh, at uh, major universities uh, trying to assess the abilities of police officers, taking groups of police officers, comparing them to groups of bartenders, groups of social drinkers, and so on, by uh, such as having videotapes shown to the different groups of uh, real suspects in the field, answering questions and doing field sobriety tests, and so on. The conclusions in all three of the major studies were the difference between the three types of groups were almost non-existent. Really? In other words, the trained police officer huh. was no better at recognizing levels of intoxication than you or I, or a bartender who's used to seeing uh, people in a bar. Very interesting. It is. <laughs>